my name is Kellyn and welcome back to my channel. So recently I went on Typo. I adore that shop. I feel like I've only ever been in the indoor store like once or twice. But I often pop onto the online website now and again just to see like what cute stuff they have. They basically just sell like loads of stationery and like home decor. Everything is just so cute. I was on the website the other day and they had a bunch of stuff reduced or on sale or on offer. So I ended up buying a bunch of stuff and every single item was under six pounds. Some of them were under six pounds because they were in an offer so like five things for six pounds or three things for six pounds but when I tell you I got some amazing deals I got some amazing deals so I'm gonna just stop chatting and let's get into this massive box of goodies that I have I have this massive massive box I feel like I can't even show you how big it is everything in here I spent I think 30 pounds I don't remember how many things I bought maybe like 10 maybe more but it is so exciting I can't even remember remember all the things I bought so let's open it up. This is massive. Okay I'm in. I think what I'm gonna do is just reach in even though I kind of know what I've got in here I kind of just want to pull one thing out at a time and then take a look at it. Okay so let's start with the first item. It feels like a canvas. I remember buying a canvas. This was a bit random actually. It's so pretty. I don't usually buy art because I usually just make all the art for our house. But when I saw this, I was just like, that is so cute. I actually got this in the five for six pounds. So this item on its own, once it was like calculated, ended up costing two pounds 22. The original price for this was eight pounds, which I don't think was too bad anyway. But for two pounds 22, I just couldn't resist. I'm not totally sure where I'm gonna put this, possibly in the living room of our house, but I just think it is so, so pretty. I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging so I want to take a closer look. It is a little bit wonky in the frame which might be why it's reduced. I can't really it's like a bit wider here and closer to the border here but honestly I still think it's so nice. I don't have too much to say about this other than the fact that it was a total bargain and it's such a cute decorative piece for literally anyone's house but this is so my style. I love it so much. Okay, let's move on to item number two. I did have a look at my receipt and I ended up buying 10 things in total. So I'll try and go through them as quickly as possible, but also as thoroughly as possible. So I'm just reaching in and... Oh, I totally forgot about this. It's just a little notebook, but it says, which biscuit are you? And then it has a bunch of like biscuits on the front. It's got a party ring, a custard cream, a digestive, and then it's got like a little description for each of them. So it says, if you're a custard cream, it says, sucker for rom-coms, tired due to just one more episode. <laughs> and another example is, a cookie is a gossip queen espresso martini fan. I think this is so cute. They had a bunch of notebooks on sale, so I could have picked like from uh, so many, but I just like this one so I went with this one. It's not super strong, it's quite flimsy, but this is originally only supposed to be £2.50 anyway. And I also got this one in the five for six pounds and I ended up paying £1.39 for it. I don't really need any more notebooks, but when I saw these I just couldn't resist. It's basically just got a cardboard front, it's also got an inner bit here and then all the paper inside is lined, but it has... <gasps> That's so cute! Inside it has like a little section for dates and then it's got tomorrow's problems section so you can just like write any notes for tomorrow. Even though this isn't the sturdiest notebook I own, it is so cute. As you can see it's got the strap as well. I'm just so so impressed. I mean for just over a pound you've got a really cute little notebook. I think this might be one of my favourite notebooks I own actually. I just love all the little attention to detail and it's just so cute. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to item number three. Oh, I think I know what, I remember what this is, it's big. <laughs> Wait, so it's a backpack, but it totally looks orange here. I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging. It's dead cute though. My first impressions is this looks orange. I don't know if my camera's capturing it, but in real life, this looks orange, like apricot. When I was buying this, I thought it was more of a mustard yellow. Even though I 
was expecting it to be more of a yellow. I still love it. It's kind of just like your average size backpack. This is the kind of size backpack I would have taken to school. It has a little logo on it that says typo anything but ordinary. It's got a little zippy pocket in the front. This is just my first impressions of these items too, so I'm just going to take a look inside. So it is just fully black on the inside, but it does have a laptop pocket. It's really hard to show. But this backpack was in the nothing over six pounds sale, and I ended up paying six pounds for it. But its original price was 20 pounds. So I think this is an absolute steal. I actually ended up buying this because I've started ice skating lessons again, and I've needed a little bag to just put all my stuff in. So I've got this for ice skating. I'm actually going ice skating today, so I can't wait to fill this up to take with me. I feel like I've told you everything about it, but it is just like a cotton material. I think the bottom might get dirty quite easily, but I can't really complain for six pounds. I think this is so cute and I cannot wait to fill it. <laughs> I am literally having the best time right now. Everything is so cute. The next thing I'm actually gonna go for is something to match the backpack. They had a bunch of different designs of these, but I decided to go with the one that would match my backpack. So here it is. Oh, this is actually a different material, but it is the same color. I thought it would match totally, but it's actually made out of like a faux leather by the looks of things. As you can tell, it's just this little zippy pouch. I think they listed this as a pencil case, but when I saw it, I thought this was perfect to put like plasters and maybe some change and stuff like that to take ice skating. Just a little like handy bag that's filled with everything that you need. As I mentioned, the main reason I picked this up was because it matched the backpack. I'm gonna get them side by side so you can see. Yes, they're a perfect match. Well, this is pretty simple. It is what it is. It's just got a little zip. I don't think it has any compartments on the inside. Nope, it's just plain. It does have a little typo label, but yeah, this is, this is what it is, but I'm definitely gonna get use out of this and I'm so excited that it matches the backpack. Okay, this is item number four. I'm pretty sure this is like a cup with a straw, but I can't remember what it looks like. So let's just open it up and see what we got. Ooh. Take it out of the packaging. He's adorable. I feel like these are so trendy. I only own a Starbucks one that looks like this that I've covered in my own stickers. This one originally underneath says, stop, hate, spread, peace. Oh, it says the same thing. I thought it like had different text underneath and then had something different on top, but no, it just says stop, hate, spread, peace. Once again, I thought this would be really, really cute to take ice skating with me to like fill with water and then put on the side. And then if I'm thirsty, I could just grab it and take a sip. They had a bunch of different designs for these as well, but I'm not sure why I went for this one I think maybe it was just my favorite of all the designs this was in the same sale section as the little pencil case it was in the three for six pounds and I ended up paying two pound 21 for this and its original price was seven pounds I'm so glad I picked this up especially for two pound I think this is such a bargain <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next item, which I think is item number six, but I've honestly lost count. Once again, I'm just reaching in. There's not that many left, actually. Ooh, what's this? I completely forgot about this, actually. I, I love this so much. It's a little card holder, and it has three little compartments. As you can see, it's in this, like, wavy checkerboard pattern, which is cream and purple. It has a little clip on the side, so you can clip it to your bag. Honestly, the thing that made me buy this was the colors and the design. I've never owned a card holder holder before so this is going to be a new thing for me. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I might find that it's just not for me and I need change. But anyway I got this in the five for six pounds section. Originally this would cost six pounds but in the offer I ended up only paying a pound which is just insane. But anyway I think this is so cute especially for a pound and I'm excited to use it. <laughs> On to item number seven, which is wrapped in some brown paper. But I think this might be a mug. Oh, it's got the design on the front. So this is a heat sensitive mug. I ended up going with a peace design one and I didn't realize that it was gonna develop flowers on it because they didn't show that on the website. Anyway, let's just open this up and take a look at the mug that's inside. It's a pretty basic looking mug. It has the nice yin and yang sign. Did I say peace mug? I think I said peace mug before. I meant to say yin and yang sign. But if you don't know me and you're new here or you haven't, You've just missed a video. I love mugs. I love 
collecting mugs and every time I go to the supermarket I always look at the mugs and I don't always buy one because we have so many mugs but I love mugs. But when I saw this in the sale I just couldn't resist. I've never owned a heat changing mug but I've always wanted one. It is a pretty basic mug, a standard shape. It's not my favourite shape but I was just so excited about the heat thing. I'm not going to test it out right here but I will insert a clip in a moment overlaying me talking which is going to show me testing out the mug on camera so you guys can see what it looks like. This was the third item that I got in the three for six pounds section and originally this mug would cost six pounds but I ended up only paying one pound ninety. I came into this knowing that everything was insanely cheap but I'm honestly just like I can't believe I've got a mug for like two pounds. I can't believe I've got like a cup for two pounds, a backpack for six pounds. Honestly mind blown. <laughs> 10 out of 10, I'm so glad I picked this up. Okay, and we're officially down to the last three items. I have one really big item which I'm saving till last because I'm so excited about it. So here's the next item. It's a three pack of pens that have a really cute pastel design. There's a yellow one, a blue one, and a green one. And they're just really, really cute. The texture on the pens is like velvet. The reason I looked a little disappointed was because they're actually black ink pens. And I thought that they were gonna like be the colors that they, the packaging is. So I'm a little disappointed but black ink pens are always handy anyway. I'm always looking for pens, so I'm pretty excited about these anyway, even though I thought they were gonna be colored. I'm gonna take them out of the packaging just to take a closer look, but they look pretty cute and pretty typical of a pen. So here's one up close. Yeah, they're so smooth. I think these are just like standard ballpoint pens that you would like use at school. So once again, these were in the five or six pounds category, and I ended up paying 139 for them, which is dead cheap, really. They are originally two pound 50, so I got them for just over half price which is just so good. I'm a little disappointed that they're not like multicolored and fun but I'm still gonna get use out of these and they look really really cute. Okay and second to last item is a puzzle! I think one of my type of mystery boxes actually included one of these, but it was the Pizza Heart puzzle. This one is actually a ice cream cone. Me and my boyfriend haven't actually attempted the heart puzzle pizza one yet, but when I saw this in the sale, I was like, oh yeah, another puzzle. We don't do puzzles that often, but we do like the idea of doing puzzles, and it's always fun to have them in in case you don't know what to do that evening and fancy doing a puzzle. But I just thought this was dead cute. I feel like this is such a good present idea. If you don't know to get someone or if you're doing like Secret Santa I feel like this sort of thing is adorable. I said Secret Santa as if it's coming up but it's almost a whole year away. <laughs> this was just in the sale I think it was probably in the under six pounds category and it ended up costing me two pounds forty which is re a really great gift price instead of its original price which is six pounds which I don't think is too bad anyway but getting a cute little thing like this for just over two pounds is so cute it's the perfect little travel like board game. I just think this is adorable I love it so much and I can't wait to give it a go. Okay, and we're finally on to the final item, which I am so, so excited about. It's quite big, so I'm gonna try and get it now for you guys to see. I am so excited about this. So this is a desktop water dispenser, and I got it in the color pink. I saw these all over TikTok like a year ago, and I considered getting one, but I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't know if I'll use it, sort of thing. So hopefully, this will encourage me to drink more water. But let's open it up and take a closer look. Okay, so there's the bottle that you fill with water, and here Here's the other bit. I'm assuming this just goes into here like this. Oh wow, that's so cool. It has a hole in top. But as you can see, it has like a little tap that you either push down or flick up. I'm not sure, probably push down. This is so unnecessary, but also so cute. I probably didn't need it, but when I saw this for six pounds, I couldn't resist. Its original price was 20 pounds. So six pounds for this, I think is such a steal. As I said, it's a bit of a silly one. I don't really need it, but at the same time, I think it's so fun and so cute. I'm not actually going to try this out right now because I'll have to like hold it weirdly. I'll probably include some footage of me testing it out though for you guys to see. But I really hope it works well and it's cute because I just I just love it so much. But overall, this might be one of the silliest things I've ever bought, but also one of the most exciting, cute, fun things I've ever bought and I can't wait to use it. So that's it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am actually so 
so, so happy with everything that I got. Everything was extremely cheap, but also functional and something that I'm gonna use regularly. Some things are questionable, like the card holder. I might end up loving that, but I might end up not using it at all, but I wanted to give it a go. But overall, I'm so happy with everything. I'm excited to try out my water dispenser, and I'm also excited to try out the mug to see if it actually changes colors, but I'm sure you guys have seen that footage already. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed unboxing everything and having a look at everything. Make sure to let me know which one of these items was your favorite down in the comment section down below. Also, if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe because it really, really helps me out. But once again, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all next Friday at five. Bye!